One of the useful features inside of Microsoft Excel is the ability to sort data. So in order to sort data, you can simply select the cells which you want um, to sort the data from. And let's say I want to sort the data according to marks over here. So now to do that, you can go to the data tab right here and you can select sort. So I'm going to select sort and let's say I want to sort by the marks over here. So I can select marks and sort on cell values from smallest to largest over there. So let's say some of the marks are the same, then I can actually add a level. So let's say, for example, another level, I want to sort it by the major over here, then sort it by major. So it can sort by cell values and it's going to be A to Z in my case. You can also set custom list over here and then add much more lists. For example, you can see that there's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and so forth. You, if you have your own hierarchy of things like uh, posts of uh, people in office, then you can uh, add in a custom list as well. Anyways, I'm going to sort it mine to A to Z because I want arts uh, in, um, at first and science second. So it's going to sort the data by marks first and then the major. So if I were to press OK over here, and I'm just going to make sure that my data has headers it's checked on because I do not want the headers to disappear and I'm going to press OK. And now you can see that these are sorted according to the marks right here. And second, it is sorted according to arts right here. So there's arts first, science second, arts again, science and arts. So you can see that all 45 and 46, they are actually aligned together. So first, uh, uh, Excel has made it a priority to sort the data by the grades and then the data by, uh, by the major itself. And last comes the name. So let's say I want to sort it by name now. So I can simply select all of these just like that. And I'm going to select sort over here. And then I'm going to select name first. And then uh, let's say the second one, marks and press OK. And you can see that now it is sorted by name itself. So here you can actually see that the name has been sorted by a one and one zero over here. So in order to sort it down, uh, Excel actually calculates the data like this. So zero one is gonna be smaller. So I'm just going to rename that all so that it'll sort the data properly over here because it is counting the number of digits over how it is done logically. So I'm going to add in zero so that it sorts out well, just like that, all right. So I'm going to select the data again and then sort this by name, press OK. And there you go, uh, every data has been sorted out by name. But since uh, it uh, cannot really do anything according to the marks, it'll actually just sort it out as it is. So that is how you can use the data sorting inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.